you try some new techniques? What kind of techniques? Uh, have you maybe had uh, example? Well, we recently we've been starting to play around with sampling, which is something that we've dabbled a tiny bit in before, but um, this is, we're, we're, we're taking it sort of a, another step. And um, early on, in, um, you know, for the last few years of playing, we were, we were pretty decided that we wanted our live show to be very much in the moment, live, and, you know, all the sounds are being created live, and the sounds, and... Um, it makes sense to me that as our recorded music begins to in integrate electronic and synthetic elements more and more, that our live show would also do so. It's not necessarily, you know, it's not like we're taking songs that on, on the record are like guitar, bass, and drums and, you know, rigging up a, a backing track with guitar, bass, and drums. You know, it's, it's the same parts that, we're, you know, we're playing. We're, you know, we're, we've, been, we've been dabbling a bit more with electronic textures and synthesizers right. and drum machines. Which and, is not, um, that's not our natural um, no, you know. landscape. I mean, it's, it's just not, it's not stuff that we are naturally um, comfortable with. In, in no one starts out naturally comfortable with anything until you learn. <laughs> right, right. But I mean, uh, you know, we're coming from being, you know, a drummer and a guitar player, um, and the whole the whole world of electronic music is is something that we love, and that we're constantly having these wonderful discoveries of. Um, but it's 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 been really exciting to sort of integrate that in. Yeah, and you know, so I feel like it's not um, it's not necessarily um, like a lazy shortcut as much as it is. You know, we're trying to inter. I mean, yeah, as it's our like music, the next step. It's yeah, an evolution. Yeah, it's, and so it's it's more a part of our recorded music and our live show, both simultaneously. Okay, I want to go a little bit bit back into uh, into the history of. Uh, of, of you two, just to get a, the, mm -hmm. the, a good picture, because you've been playing together since uh, a high school band, uh, mm -hmm. I've read. Mm -hmm. How much did your uh, relationship change from that point till now, do you think? A lot. Mm. In what, 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 what kind of way? Is um, I think, uh, well, I mean, when you grow up with someone, um, I mean, I've known Andy and we've played in, the first day we met, we played, we had a music rehearsal. Um, so literally, as long as we've known each other, we've been playing music together. And uh, I was 15 years old at the time. It's been almost 10 years um, since that that day. And and uh, when you grow up, I mean, when you grow up as a as a when you you know mature, you change. People change, and um, we've evolved simultaneously, um, and almost, not necessarily entirely in parallel. But we've known each other the entire time, and so. Um, you know, a lot of people don't get to see, don't get to witness that. 